I was leading a perfectly happy life and suddenly I was taken very ill. You were poorly, weren't you? You went into hospital, acutely ill. The GP advised you to ring 111 if you oh. deteriorated, which you did. Yes. And then a paramedic took you into hospital where you stayed for just under two weeks. And then once you were medically fit, you were discharged for further rehab at Home Lee. Yes. I was working with the family a lot and they was really worried and anxious that Jean wouldn't go home. She was at a very high risk of going into long-term care. Traditionally, organisations would have worked very independently of each other. The problems with that is that particularly people who are ageing and have long-term conditions use a range of different services. Where services work in silo, there is no joined-up working and hence joined-up care Derbyshire was developed. I didn't know where I was to start with because I'd got Delirium, Delirium. Delirium. She kind of didn't know where she was. She looked really scared. I gradually came round and realised I was in a nursing home. And it was homely. What we've got now is a multi-sort of professional group of people who are talking together, who are also working collaboratively with that person themselves to say, as an individual, what matters most to me? I asked um, my mum what she wanted, which was ultimately to go home. Not everybody's going to walk out of here independently, but it's keeping in their own homes where their memories are and things like that, so it's set, they set a realistic goal. At first, you needed more or less total support, and then yeah. as you got better, the staff just removed themselves and allowed you to become more independent and encourage you. Uh, yeah, bit by bit. And lots of praise from Lisa. How well I'm doing and don't forget it, you're doing really well. Yeah, she was very inspiring for you. Yes. Once she could walk a couple of steps, she was flying around this home. And then a family came one day and I said to Jean, we'll wait till your family come and then as soon as they come we'll stand up and we'll have a walk across the lounge. And the smile on the family's face was well worth all the work. You were doing all that walking, all that mobilising. Oh, yes, I was, yes. <laughs> all that walking up the steps. Uh, yes. <laughs> Down to the dining room, shall we? My memory of Jean is going into the dining room in the morning for her meals and not eating or drinking anything, to her uh, picking from the menu what she wanted to eat, then saying to people who come in the beds, come on, you need to eat that porridge and get strong. Lisa didn't think that I would make it, but she realises now I'm her star pupil. <laughs> Seeing someone with such complex needs reach the potential and then go home, it's kind of, it's a challenge then. It's like, right, bring it, we can do this with other people. It is a very good example of what works well when teams come together for the good of the person coming in. Once upon a time, a patient will see so many different disciplines separately, but we all work together now, so they're not having to tell their story over and over. The pathway's a lot easier, it's more seamless. Because teams are working much more closely together across different organisations, their level of job satisfaction is improved. We work so well together, all of us, health and social care. We're all supporting each other all the time, and that's why it's been so positive. Where we are with her now is we practice in outdoor mobility around her garden. So that's all she ever wanted was to be able to get out in her garden once she got home. They did wonders for me, really. They were a great parting, getting me on the road to where I am today. Better care closer to home is what's important. I'm very lucky. I'm very happy. <laughs>